Hello, I'm Kailas Rajan from the University of Southern California. And I'm Emily Jensen from Case Western Reserve University. Our mentors are Mitchell Solomon and Dr. Adrian Peter at Florida Institute of Technology. The topic of our project is infrasound classification using long short-term memory recurrent neural networks. Infrasound waves are acoustic waves that are below the range of human hearing, around 20 hertz. Since these waves have a low frequency, they can travel long distances. There are hundreds of devices called arrays all over the world that constantly record infrasound data. Infrasound can be created by natural events like earthquakes, as well as man-made events like mine blasts. In 1996, the United Nations adopted an agreement to ban all nuclear explosions, so we would like to be able to detect if nuclear weapons are being tested. Infrasound classification is a great approach to this problem since data is already being collected. Previous work in infrasound classification heavily relied on feature extraction, which preprocesses the data to determine the most important elements to use in classification. This approach is computationally expensive. Our project introduces a featureless approach, which saves us time manually sorting through data, as well as computer time spent calculating features. Other work in infrasound classification has looked at a wide range of natural and man-made events. In this project, we focused on classifying four types of natural infrasound events. These are microbarums, mountain-associated waves, auroral waves, and volcanic eruptions. We classify these events using a long, short-term memory recurrent neural network. Neural networks are a family of machine learning algorithms defined by layers of nodes with weighted connections, like neurons in the brain. Recurrent neural networks are a specific type of neural network well suited to working with time series data, like infrasound, because layers are also connected through time. In particular, we used a type of node called long short-term memory that allows the network to store its state over long time periods. This is very useful in classifying infrasound because infrasound events have such low frequencies. Our model is different from previous neural network infrasound classifiers since we also use the waveform itself as input instead of extracted features. Using our model, we were able to achieve near-perfect classification accuracies on two, three, and four infrasound event problems. Our model achieves this impressive accuracy with very few training iterations and only a moderate number of training samples. We also had the opportunity to test our model on another real-world problem, identifying different degrees of real degradation. This shows the model is flexible and can handle the variety of problems. Based on these results, we think it's possible to develop a real-time infrasound monitoring system that can identify dangerous events and send warnings to the appropriate authorities. Future work can expand our results by using cutting-edge architectures and training on more classes. This project was part of the 2017 Amalfia REU program at Florida Institute of Technology, funded by the National Science Foundation. More information on this and other projects can be found at amalfia-reu.org.